the the challenge of Amari Cooper in that, oh, I guess, more open offense for Alabama, what kind of challenges do they present, and especially with a mobile quarterback? I mean, I, I, have you gotten to watch much of them yet? I have actually watched um, a lot today, early this morning. I got up here, um, checked their stuff, their stats, and and who was getting the ball and what they do on offense. Um, Amari Cooper, he's getting the ball a lot more than a lot of the other receivers. And the running game, you know, that's that's their two their two things they like to do on offense. Like to run the ball and get the ball to number nine. And I truly feel that Coach Womack is doing, you know, something to eliminate, you know, number nine from the game. How much, how much difference do you think they look on, on offense compared to other years? They look a little different, you know. I'm not gonna say um they don't look like the same Alabama they, they've that we've seen in the last, you know, couple of years. But they're they're definitely a great a great offense. You know, they're they're big up front. They have great backs, um, great receiver. You know, so they're extremely balanced and well off around. As dominant as the defensive efforts have been, there's a lot of talk about the yards given up on the ground. How how big was it to have an effort like I did against Memphis, where y'all didn't give them anything? It was huge because we were able to see what we can do if we all did our assignments and fit, our, fit the right gaps and we played together on the same page. It was amazing what, you know, what we were able to accomplish. Is that a good week coming into now? Alabama's going to run downhill actually a little more where you have assignments pretty important, I would think, with, uh, with what they do in the run game. Oh, yeah, definitely huge week. Huge to be a game, you know, right before Bama. Yeah. Give everybody the confidence, you know, that we can do it. And big time, big time. What do you think the mindset of this team is going in this week? That we can't, we 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 have to win this game. You know, we, we're, you know, when you have one option, you know, there's, there's no other way else to think. Everybody's mindset is we have one option. There's no winning and losing. It's just winning. We must, everybody must come into the game as a winner. Denzel, every time we ask Coach Freeze about you in the off season, he always said he's doing the right things. He's you know doing the right things, getting back with the team. W when did your mindset kind of change to that? Spring ball when um, when I was up early at five thirty, doing runs and lifting alone, and um, not being able to come out and practice with my team. You know, it it, it just it changed changed the whole outlook on everything, my perspective. How I attack the game, my approach to everything, it, it it completely changed. Did it become real to you when football got taken away from you? I mean, did that when you thought, you know, whatever I was doing, maybe that I thought I shouldn't be doing? You know? Oh yeah, no doubt. Because um, you know, football is a temporary thing. It's a temporary, it's a temporary job. It's you know, it it has its window, and, and I wasn't taking advantage of that window. I wasn't taking full advantage of the opportunity I had, and that was me being you know an immature young man. And as I matured, and that helped me, whatever happened last season, off season, it helped me mature and it helped me um, realize, you know, what I did have. And if I was able to come back, what I could do with that opportunity because it was almost taken away from me. How, how did uh, the Memphis game feel to you? Six tackles? I mean, did you feel like you were finally back, if you will? Oh, no doubt. I felt, I felt healthy. I felt... Um, I felt fast. I felt like I didn't have too many wasted steps. I felt I just felt a lot smarter. I felt I felt like I've you know I've, I've been in that place before, and, and I'm coming back with a little more, with with a little more knowledge to the game. Take I mean, us through the injuries from last year. What did you have last year? Because I, I know even times you were playing, you were not at full strength. Well, I tore my meniscus. That was Vanderbilt. First right? game of the season, Vanderbilt game, and then. I, w I didn't feel healthy until LSU game. And then LSU game, third quarter, I rolled my ankle three times on one series. And then I probably went healthy for, you know, for the rest of the season. I mean, was that, has that really been what you feel like is, is what held you back, is what held you back in, to get to the point in Memphis where you felt like yourself? Was it just about the health? Oh, or was yeah. also the mental aspect of in terms of not thinking about the, the many injuries you faced? Uh, if I if I'm if I feel healthy if I'm out there running around, I just 
it, that's it. If I'm healthy, I feel good. I feel like I can go all day long. Mentally, is no no problem for me at all.